Ultimate Halo now has a Discord. Go to the description, join the community, and let's talk some Halo. Man, I do not know what's going on with Halo at the moment, but recently we got the Brute Plasma Rifle, we got weapon skins in Halo 3, we got the Silence SMG and Magnum in Halo 3, we got upredged textures, BR in ODST, the BR in ODST, the BR in ODST, and the BR in ODST. And I don't know what interdimensional portal I've entered in hell. I don't even know what time it is right now. It's currently nearly quarter to four in the afternoon actually, so thank you very much, my watch. But you know what, there's some weird stuff going on in the world of Halo right now, and I'll tell you what, I'm all here for it. But what does this all mean? Is this going to be a testing ground for Halo Infinite? Is it a taste of what's to come? Am I just a crazy cuckoo who looks far too much into things? Well, that's what we are going to find out. Ultimate Halo. Hey up lads and lasses, Fletch here from Ultimate Halo and today we are going to talk about this new update for the Master Chief Collection and normally I don't do these MCC updates but I thought it would be a great chance to talk about my thoughts on this, is it a testing ground for Halo Infinite and much more so to help the channel out please subscribe so we can meet that glorious 100k goal and let me know in the comment section down below do you think the whole seasons is a sign of things to come as far as Halo Infinite's monetization system and is that something you are down for when the game releases, let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to point out in this video is that the battle rifle is wild and it feels fantastic. Now, I remember when ODST came out on the Xbox 360 and I spent hours trying to find the battle rifle. I thought I was missing something. I didn't realize they took it out of the game and it took me a long time to do that. And then for years, I was trying to search up videos on how do I find the battle rifle in this game? Is there an Easter egg that lets you pick it up? And unfortunately, that was never the case until now. And this is one of the things that I'm loving that 343 are doing. They're not simply just porting the games over. They're putting a lot of features in that fans have been asking for for years without intruding the game and making it too much in your face so great job on this I'm totally down for it it feels great and actually taking out a load of grunts in firefight and firefights another thing we'll talk about in a second is just a hell of a lot of fun then in terms of firefights I've said this before in the past but I think that firefight in Halo 3 ODST is the best version of firefight I prefer it over Halo Reach now I know that Halo Reach had a ton of customization options on that front but I like a more focused experience something I can perfect that's the same over time that I can really hone in my skills on and become the master of otherwise if I can just play around with the settings too much I just get a little bit bored and I kind of just I don't know I lose interest that's just personally me and I appreciate some people prefer Halo Reach's version instead but the skins are also back in this game and this is what I want to talk about in terms of Halo Infinite because I know that there's a lot of anxiety out there about Halo Infinite being free to play and will this be an egregious form of microtransactions that come into the game so Microsoft can make up their profit so I do think that seasons in Halo Infinite are going to be a thing we know by now that 343 are treating this game as a live service as a platform for the next 10 years to come which is great it shows that they've got a long-term commitment and plan and it means that they can roll out content progressively much like call of duty modern warfare warzone other games such as fortnite and many other games have adopted this style such as apex so it means that they can roll out content that progressively changes the game over time one thing I'm just very wary about is that I hope skins are not too obtrusive and they don't impact the art style of the game because if you look at games like Call of Duty and Late Night Gaming talked about this perfectly in his last Q&A video you go to these games and his example was you see these floating shooting unicorn people and it just takes you right out of the experience when it started off as quite a gritty military experience game so I hope it's not too intrusive in that sense and also player retention is very good to make players stick around having these seasons makes you want to come back in the future and see all the new stuff they brought into the game but one thing I have a suggestion for in terms of how things can be unlocked in the game is having skins just as the microtransactions and the armor much like the armor in Halo 3 can be unlocked by performing certain tasks I think this is the optimal way to do it that still encourages player retention and people will want to customize the armor that they've worked hard for through the game by adding their extra little skin on to make it wholly unique 
it's a really tough subject because I know nobody truly wants microtransactions in any game that they love, but it's a part of the industry right now. If games are going to be free to play, they need to make some money. It's a business at the end of the day. I know they're making games because they want to make games that they love, but billions of dollars get put into multiple games every single year and they have to make this money back otherwise these things will not exist in the first place so i appreciate people's thoughts on that let me know in the comments like what your approach would be to halo infinite's microtransactions but for me that would be optimal and then in terms of weapons they're adding to halo 3 that's also something i want to talk about because this is incredible they've added the halo 3 odst silenced smg which is just such a great weapon and they've added the magnum and they also added the brute plasma rifle which everything is just i booted it up for the first time i didn't even realize this was a thing i've been a bit out of the loop recently and then i saw them in forge and i played around with them and it was so satisfying you have no idea this is the kind of thing i think that will give mcc the upper edge and actually it's not ruining the game i'm always very apprehensive about developers adding things into games that released 10 years ago but this isn't just like adding a new weapon altogether it's porting stuff across from another halo game that may makes genuine sense and it fits perfectly. I do think that Halo 3 is in quite a unique position as well because it runs off the same engine as Halo 3 ODST and Halo Online. It would be nice to see some Halo Online stuff on there. Very unlikely that'll ever happen in my personal opinion, but that's what mods are for. I'm sure some fans will already be working on stuff like that. But I don't think that's possible for games like Halo 2 or Halo 4 because there are no equival equivalent or parallel games that have the same engine or have similar art styles in that sense. So I don't think there'll be too much of that going forward, but I'm glad they did take the opportunity when they did. In terms of other things that should be added, it would be cool to see custom Spartans in campaign, much like Halo Reach. I don't know from a technical standpoint how difficult or easy that is. It would be a nice addition nonetheless though. So sorry guys, just as a quick edit, you might notice that there has been some brand new Halo Infinite music in the background. This is by Jewel Coralitz and it's a new song called Through the Trees, which is a clear reference to Walk in the Woods, which is from Halo 2. And there's obviously a musical inspiration there. So good. Go check it out. The link is in the description. For me, that's just a little summary of some of the crazy things that are going on with Halo at the moment, and I'm absolutely all here for it. I hope that 343 keep this up. So far, it's a very stable build of Halo 3 ODST. I think Splash Damage, the guys who are porting Halo 3, are doing a great job with that. I think they've already got to grips with the Halo 3 engine, so obviously there are only small minor changes. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below. We'll be doing a new Halo Infinite video, hopefully, later on in the week, and I hope to see you all there. My name is Jack Fletcher and I will see you next time on the one and the only Ultimate Halo. Subscribe now to Ultimate Halo for more unfreaking believable Halo content.